Buddha said there are four groups of people in this world. One group of people like running from darkness towards darkness. Another group of people running from brightness towards darkness. A third group of people running from darkness towards brightness. And the fourth group of people running from brightness towards brightness. He never gave any sermon in mysticism. His teachings are so clear. Whenever he said something which people may take differently, he explained it immediately. What is darkness? What is brightness? How one keeps running from one to the other. He always covered these things. Here's how he clarified to us. The first group, from darkness to darkness. Someone is full of misery in different ways. Health-wise, family-wise, money-wise, society-wise. All around there is misery. This is darkness. No happiness at all. And yet every moment, this person is generating nothing but anger, hatred. I'm in this position because of so-and-so. Anger towards so-and-so. Hatred towards so-and-so. Darkness is already there, and one keeps planting seeds of darkness. Misery is already there, and one keeps planting seeds of misery. Anger, hatred, ill will. They bring nothing but misery. Present is misery. Future is misery. Present is darkness. Future is darkness. That's the first person. Second person, running from brightness towards darkness. Brightness is quite happy, health-wise, family-wise, money-wise, society-wise, good status and everything, but madness. Such an egocentric life, hating everybody else. They're all useless fellows. I'm so smart, that's why I'm so happy. I have so much power, position, status. Hating everybody. So now he's happy because of some good karmas of the past. He's got everything pleasant around. But every moment, the seed that he's planting is seed of misery. So from brightness, this person is running towards darkness. The third person, exactly the same as the first person. There's misery all around, but there's wisdom inside. One keeps on smiling. Oh, this misery comes because of some past bad karmas of mine. Let me settle my account. Somebody seems to be the reason of my misery. Certainly this person is not the reason of my misery. It's become a vehicle. My misery was bound to come from this person or some other person. So this third person generates only love and compassion towards this person. He's planting seeds of love, of compassion. Now there's a lot of darkness, but future is brightness. Sooner or later, this darkness will go. The planting of the seed now is a seed of brightness. It will bring happiness. And the fourth person, from brightness to brightness. All the facilities of life are there. Money-wise, health-wise, family-wise, society-wise. But this person keeps on understanding there is wisdom. All this is because of some good karmas of the past. And however much good karma I might have done, it's not eternal. The fruit is not eternal. It will stop. So, what am I doing now? I must make use of all this money, position, power, status that I have for the good of others. For my maintenance and the maintenance of those who depend on me. And then for the good of others. So all the time, this fourth person is generating goodwill, love, compassion, goodwill, love, compassion. All his actions, focal, mental, physical, are for the good of others. He's planting seeds of brightness. From brightness, he's running towards brightness. From happiness, he's running towards happiness. We should not remain in the first or the second category. We must remain in the third or the fourth. At times, life will be full of darkness because of past karma. At times, life will be full of light because of past karma. But we are the masters only of the present karma. Buddha said you are your own master, nobody else. And you are the master of your future, nobody else. At least what happened in the past happened in the past. But now you should not generate a single samskara which will create misery for you. If you are the master of the present, the future is nothing but the child of the present. Be master of the present and see that your present is full of dhamma. Future will automatically be full of happiness. Develop this mastery of the present moment. Say to yourself, at this moment, I am my own master. I won't plant any seed of misery. I won't plant any seed of darkness. Only seed of brightness, seed of happiness. Good for me, and good for others. Awareness of sensation, equanimous with sensations, and the rest is up to Dhamma. That is one of the lessons from the Buddha. 
I hope you liked that video. Here at Project Stoic, we are focused on creating videos around Stoicism, philosophy, spirituality, all wrapped under the umbrella of storytelling with contemporary lessons. Now, although this channel is new, we do have over 165,000 followers over on TikTok talking about the same stuff. So you know what that means. That means I'm a, I'm a, I'm a TikToker. I'm a TikToker. But this YouTube channel is new. So if you'd like to support, help grow it, consider subscribing, liking the video, and of course, watch more. You know, anything to boost us up in the algorithm. Happy you're here. I hope you learn a lot. And we'll talk to you soon.